What's up, y'all? If you're tuned in, you tuned in to another episode of that I'm bagging. Today we're doing something fun, something different. I know I've been doing a lot of cooking, barbecue, and stuff like that, but now I just want to chill and do some other things. But let's check this other stuff that we have going out. But before we get into that, right, but if you haven't yet, make sure you like, subscribe, and you hit that little bell to be notified. I've been doing, I've been kind of taking it easy daily just to let everybody know, just to kind of, you know, talk to everybody, let everybody know how I've been. I've been kind of kind of trying to chill you know just work and work and work and they'd be in summertime and i remember being summertime i would just film and i would film and i'm trying to get back to that i need to get back to that feeling because that that was a beautiful feeling beautiful beautiful feeling i mean just to have something out every day running doing things painting grubbing you know just having a good time and just filming and editing every day stuff was fire but today, we're back on some fast food stuff. Fast food, and what do we say? Jack in the box. Jack in the box. I, they, they must have deals with rappers. I have seen some, um, I saw some stuff the other day on the tube, and that's where I got the idea from, because, you know, I'm a big Ice Cube fan, you know? I love, I love all of his jams, you know? I, I can name five jams right off the bat. You know, Endangered Species, Jack up for Beats, Get Off My Dick and Tell Your Bitch to Come Here, Dead Homies, and, um, uh, Really Dope. And, you know, how we do it, all that stuff. It was a good day, you know what I mean? Like, I even did that when I put, did that Fat Burger video. But, you know, I, I'm not gonna say anything, but, I saw some other YouTubers doing this also, and they were like, they didn't even know who Ice Cube was. But I mean, they could be younger, so they, they don't have too much of an education on hip hop like people like us do. But word up, I mean, without no further ado, the Ice Cube Munchie Box. All right. And the, to say what, what came with it, just to begin with, a Sprite, because I guess, I guess Ice Cube likes Sprite. So Ice Cube likes Sprite, so you have to get the Sprite with it. You know what I mean? This is this is this is where it gets a bit disappointing in a way to me. Jack in the box, you're gonna see this, and you're you're not gonna be happy. You're not gonna be happy. Why are you gonna give me a Deadpool box with the with the with the cube munch box? You know what I mean? It's kind of, I don't know, maybe they ran out. You know, I, I make excuses for people, you know, for stuff like this. But I mean, it is what I saw in it. And it, it, it did say the cube box. You saw the picture. You saw the picture. Let me show the picture again. Yep. That's the picture. So let's check this out. All right. It has some curly fries. Curly fries. I don't know what kind of your favorite of fries are. I, I did curly fries though. I did curly fries. Curly fries remind me of um, what is it like? Curly fries from um, Carl's Jr. Curly fries. I, I think I have a clip of that. Maybe, maybe I'm showing it. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I know they got curly fries, and they're not bad. Hooters has curly fries. Yeah, Hooters has the curly fries. You know, we got them. Um, some little bite-sized churros, always good, you know. And if you're in LA and you're ice cube, you gotta have the taco, you gotta have the taco. But this sandwich thing was what the thing I'm amazed by from what I saw. It has, oh, let's see here. It has this stuff right here. It has a potato, like a hash brown, and a chicken, and a bacon on top. But you know what? Just to let you guys know a little better, I'm gonna bring you in and let you peep this thing out. It's like on a croissant, a croissant. but check this out, check it out. You saw that. You saw that. So, I mean, it was weird. It looked like it looks like a breakfast sandwich to me. I always thought Ice Cube drank St. Ice. He must have Sprite in it. All right. Now this is the this is the doozer right here. This is the doozer. 
This is the doozer. You ready to take the bite of the sandwich? What the? What the? Oh man. That is nuts. That is insane. It has like a breakfast taste to it. It has a breakfast taste, but like the Swiss cheese or something that's in between that and the potato. The combination of the bacon and that sauce on top of that chicken is like, oh my God. That's so good. Mmm. Heck yeah. That is delicious. That's a, that's different. Whatever it is, I'll find out what it is. I'll put it right there on top of the top of the screen. Yeah, heck. Let's get a bite of this taco. Yep. It's a taco. That's good though. I mean, to be dead honest, I'm so tired of seeing cheeseburgers and fries and that's it. And a soda pop. You know, like, like not talking shit about Burger King or anywhere else like that. But you know, you get like a Whopper meal. And that thing ends up being like, like $17, $18. This right here, I believe was $12. I paid twelve dollars for that, so twelve dollars for a sandwich, taco, some fries, and some churros. Pretty good meal, pretty good deal. I mean, if you're into things like that, but you know, I think they're pretty good. I think it's an awesome deal, but a lot of people don't like Jack in the Box or like fast food period. So it's up to you if you're on the move for one of these. I just wanted to do a quick ice cube thank you very much ice cube you know what i mean this is a good meal hopefully you're, you're getting a good little chunk out of it from jack in the box but maybe not but yet and still you know how it goes and i mean just to you know ended up good on a on a positive note these churro bites actually taste look really tasty oh yeah Oh yeah. I like when a churro that's off a taste that tastes like horchata, but I don't like when horchata tastes like a churro. Does that make sense? Guess it's kind of kind of crazy when you think about it. You know, you don't want too much cinnamon, but you don't want too much. You know, as it goes, as it goes. Word up, guys. This has just been like a little production of unbagging. I've been putting out little Instagram joints, TikToks, stuff like that. Just little things, barbecuing in the backyard, having a good time. This is one of my first YouTubes in a while. So, I mean, if you wouldn't mind, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and you know, if you want to subscribe, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, we'll just keep, you know, I'll do more fun things like this just to jump in with you guys every every little while, if that's cool. Um, I'll get try to get back to here more if we get more people following on TikTok, off TikTok, and off Instagram. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll just come back to YouTube even more. But until then, let's just have a little bit of fun. You know, eat a few good places. Check out a few good things. Shout out to everybody out there doing the dang thing. Um, Denver, Colorado, I want to say July something. They have a lady coming named Reverie. She's from LA, good rapper. I believe status, it'll be at the bar red. Um, my boy Greybeard will be there, all kinds of food. So, you know what I mean? Definitely check that out if you're in the area. Um, and uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Shout out to all my peeps that are doing it. Hey, if you're healthy, stay healthy, you know what I mean? If you're doing bad, talk to somebody, see if you could, you know, make things work a little better. But, you know, like I always say about this time, you know, until we see each other again, hey, y'all know what to do out there. Be safe.